131.9 to take the lead. Again, he had a big lead on Stefan, Stefan Lambiel, but the story of the night, last night was Lambiel's fall. The story tonight is Lambiel's rise. He still leads, and Takahashi will be hard-pressed to move into first place with that performance. He is not going to be happy with that, nor the marks, and look at this. The free skate total is way down from his personal best and not enough. And again, Stefan Lambiel's name is still on top of the leaderboard. We've seen this before at Skate Canada. A guy named Emmanuel Sandu has come from seventh to win. And maybe Lambiel could do the same here tonight. Wouldn't that be something? He's going to get a lot of confidence from that. And look at Stefan Lambiel watching the final flight from the crowd, and there's a chance he could be wearing a gold medal at the end of the night. Isn't that something? Incredible. More to come from Victoria in a moment. Three skaters Thomas to come. Werner. Here's Tomasz Werner on ice, and the unlikely possibility of Stefan Lambiel moving from seventh to first still exists. Werner, then Yannick Poncero, and then Johnny Weir. And really, if you look at the numbers, the way they played out in the past, Weir is the only guy who has a shot at the gold medal. And so I'm sure there's this uh, Swiss world champion sitting in the crowd going, okay, four down, two to go. Poncero's next, then Weir. <laughs> Stefan Lambiel's going to have to put his costume on to get, because he's guaranteed a podium spot right now. What an amazing ascent here tonight. Johnny Weir really is the only guy with personal best numbers remaining. He'll be the final skater who has a chance to win the gold medal here tonight. Has not had a lot of success in Canada, but Weir has the goods. He will skate in the final position. Yannick Poncero is on the ice from France. Has a chance, but doesn't have the numbers. Werner will not get the numbers, and Lambiel's climb continues here. And he looks quite pleased with him. Skating here tonight. There have been a lot of car wrecks out here. There has been a lot of falls, a lot of mistakes from everyone, including Stefan Lambiel. When Emmanuel Sandu went from seventh to first to win this title, he won it. Lambiel had a couple of falls as well earlier tonight. He's still sitting in the top spot because everyone else is falling down. Werner right now is in fourth. Sean Sawyer is in third. Takahashi is second. Lambiel leads, sitting in the crowd. Sitting in the crowd, watching. Two skaters to come. So the mistakes continue. Uh, Night littered and riddled with errors from the skaters. And Stefan Lambiel knows that one more skater to come, and he might be able to pull off one of the most improbable comebacks. He's looking happier as the night goes on. Final skater, final flight, Johnny Weir begins the night in second place. Everyone taking a dive here tonight except Stefan Lambiel, who did fall a couple times, albeit on some big jump attempts. Lambiel has been sitting in the crowd watching the final flight. We were shocked last night of his performance, or lack thereof. He has a chance to come from behind. Forget about the placement, the seventh spot. It's the points. 14 points back to begin the night and a chance to win gold. And here are the marks for Poncero, who will also plummet. And another big story is Sean Sawyer, skated first in this final flight, remains in third place. So if Johnny Weir doesn't go out and he tanks as well, Sawyer could be on the podium. Who knows? Anything's, anything's possible right now. And as you said, we, we've seen Johnny Weir pull in the big scores, but he is not a smart competitor. You know, the men are allowed eight opportunities at jumping passes, and Johnny Weir has been known to only do seven thereby missing out on some big marks. And two years ago at the World Championships, it cost him a world medal. He can make those mental strategic errors in competition. What he has going in his favor, pure classical lines. He's a wonderful artist. And he has been skating very well in practice. And he's very confident. Lambiel watches. 
He will win a medal here tonight. It will be gold or silver. And now the three-time American champion. He's a very outspoken individual. Has had some outrageous quotes in the past. He gets a lot of artistic impression for his quotes, but not much technical merit. In fact, you just saw him spinning. Told the press last night that he thinks spinning is ugly and thinks it's a nuisance to skating and would prefer not doing it. This has been a rather stinky night of skating for a lot of the men. Nothing memorable for sure. But stunning in the fact that Johnny Weir did what he did here. And even more stunning that Stefan Lambiel, I have never seen this before in skating. And you can thank the new system, Tracy, where the winner, the champion, is sitting in the crowd without his costume on, watching. That is unbelievable. Lambiel is going to win this thing. We'll be back to see his performance from earlier when we come back. The scoring system has been in place only for a couple years. And this is what they wanted to see happen at times, is that instead of someone's, someone in that second flight possibly could make it to the podium, I don't think ever thinking about them winning. Johnny Weir went out and lost this tonight. He had every opportunity to win this event. Well, the he just gave it away. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Also, hey, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting I, the gold medal. I have never seen you know, that. Shocking to see a world champion, first of all, put seventh in the short program, and then to be able to see him climb back up. And nowhere near world championship form. And I think that is a statement of how poor all of these guys skated here. Well, yes, and as good as the ladies were, the men weren't, you know? Um, and that however, happens, you that have happens. You to remember with, with Stefan, and we will get to see his program coming up, he didn't land both of the quads, but he turned them, so he was able to get big marks for that. And so, his quality, and of, quality skating. of skating is superb. Johnny Weir, though, will be lucky to be able to stay up on the podium. He did remember nail a triple axle in, in the program. So Johnny Weir will finish in third place just ahead of Sean Sawyer, knocks him off the podium. Daisuke Takahashi second. And this has to be the biggest comeback since the scoring system was put in place. Emmanuel Sandu did it twice, but he was 12 points back. Stefan Lambiel was 14 points back before the night. The world champion skated in the first flight, and he finishes first. From seventh to first, Sean Sawyer went from sixth to third. Again, not a night for any memorable skating, but I think it's going to be memorable But for the fact that Lambiel, the world champion, was able to elevate himself into the gold medal position and was sitting watching the entire thing. Unbelievable. We'll get to have a look at his entire performance. Stefan Lombiel coming up next.